Hi Lexi. Hello sweetheart. Well, Lexi has now been here a few days and she's settled back into her home very well. Your slobbery chops just had a drink. And it's wonderful for the breed that Lexi's had a filly foal. One stallion can mate with lots of mares, but it's only mares that can produce the foals, of course. So if you have fillies, if you have females, those so they too themselves will give birth in the future. So little Mayflower here, when she's mature enough at three or four years old, will be able to give birth to her own little Suffolk Punch foal. And the visitors at the Cotswold Farm Park are absolutely loving seeing her. And she's out on display. She was galloping around this morning in the sunshine. Let's see if I can turn her around. Where are you, little mate? There she is. She's still a little bit nervous, so we've got a bit of handling to do with her. And we'll start getting Lexi into the pen and then uh, handling the foal so she gets nice and quiet. There's a good girl. And with Lexi, We've decided to give her a year off. So she had the first year, oh, cows are being noisy. She had the first year she lost her foal, sadly. Then she gave birth to Braveheart, and now she's had Mayflower. So she's been pregnant three years in a row. And so we've decided to give her a year off and then put her back to the stallion again next spring. There we are. Don't need all that, do you? Although she does need lots of nutrition because she's producing lots of very rich milk. Although we're not going to breed again from Lexi this year, we will take her back to the stallion in the spring. But what we have got is Willow Warbler. Our Exmoor stallion is in with the mares. And what we could do is just go and check in on him. I'm just making my way over to see Willow Warbler, the Exmoor Stallion, and I'm passing the White Park cows. And although most of the time they're pretty docile, when you've got a bucket of food in your hand, they can get a little bit overexcited. The goats love it, the Herdrick sheep love it, and the White Parks love it. And uh, although these cows weigh probably, I don't know, five or 600 kilos, they can really leap about. So I've just got a stick in my hand, just to keep them away a little bit, so I don't get hurt. Don't be naughty, Molly. Go on, off you go. There's none for you either, goats. <laughs> you ever feel like you're being followed? What do you want, you naughty goats? There you go. There you go. Look, you don't want it now, do you? Mm -hmm. There you go. Willow Warbler is in this field and uh, we've become quite good mates. And uh, he actually sometimes now comes to the whistle. You follow me through and I'll uh, see what I can do. He really comes to the whistle because he's greedy. He wants the, the sheep nuts. Put all the sheep round me too. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. How are you? Although he's small, he's still got a bit of growing to do. And he's got that lovely, strong, masculine jaw. And here's the ladies. <laughs> oh, no, 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 me naughty. There's always a bit of jealousy when it comes to food. <laughs> That's him. It's asserting his authority. <laughs> you have to be a bit careful. You don't get kicked. That's him being all masculine saying, come on, I'm the boss. If anybody's getting any sheep nuts, it's me. <laughs> now be steady, steady fella. Steady now. Whoa, steady, steady. Back off a bit. Come on, leave him alone. Come on, you're going to have that. 
Go on, fella. Come on. Come on. He's a good boy. Is he bossing you around, that one? So the gestation period from mating to birth for a horse is pretty much 11 months. So hopefully, in 11 months' time, we'll have some little Exmoor foals. Fingers crossed, mate. Hey, if you do your job. There's a good boy. I'll leave him to it. Well, there we are. There's an update on our equines. Lexi with a lovely little Mayflower and hopefully new foals in our Exmoor herd in about 11 months time.